Here we go. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson in a boxing match in Arlington, Texas, July 20th, streamed live on Netflix. Yeah, you heard me right. I was going to wait to my weekly recap to talk about this, but um, it just I just couldn't wait. Jay Paul versus Mike Tyson. I'm a fan of boxing. I, I do consider myself to be a fan of boxing. And um, there's a lot of a lot of a lot of matchups and dream matchups that I would like to see and wish I could have seen things that are past their date. And um, there's some things that I know are just for the spectacle of boxing, you know, and Jake Paul. I'm going to start out by saying, like, Jake Paul, he grew on me. His first fight, the uh, what was it, KSI, Sammy Fuckboys, I think so, or his brother, something like that. Uh, the Nate Robinson thing, you know, it was cool, whatever. I didn't really take him serious personally then, but eventually he grew on me, and I started to take his his idea of boxing serious. I, I always respected his uh, his business acumen when it came to it. That his events are events, brought a lot of attention. Gotta give him that. He's been fighting. He he looks like he's been fighting now. He's what seven, eight fights in. Can't remember, but he looks like he's about that. He's been baiting out a lot of fighters, Mike Tyson being one of them for a long time. And I thought this day wouldn't come that Mike would accept this. I don't know what they offered Mike. I would love to see what he's getting paid. I don't know if we'll ever find out. It's early now. I think it was just announced. I would love to know what they paid Mike to get in the ring. I don't even know yet if it's an exhibition. It would probably have to be at this point. But I don't know. Crazy things are happening. I just want to say this. We have a 58-year-old man about to go into the ring with a 27-year-old, I believe, Jake Paul is. i to check my facts on that. But um, as much as I'm excited to think Mike Tyson in the ring, because it's like, it's like seeing Jordan get on the court and play again or something. It's just like, wow. But in the reality of it, we have a 58-year-old man fighting a 27-year-old. And that's not to say that Mike is not in great shape for his age or is not one of the greatest to ever do it. But what is happening here? Netflix is getting into the game, I guess, because Showtime is out of here doing live sporting events. I think that's a positive thing. It gives people more of an outlet, a chance, and options and things. They're probably going to make a ton of money. Everyone's going to make a ton of money off of this thing. Giant spectacle. It's, it's crazy. But in reality, what are we watching at this point? And that is no disrespect to Mike Tyson. I think he's, like I said, one of the greatest. And it's even not disrespect to Jay Paul because he's been doing his thing. But what are we watching? Where are we going? Where is this headed? That That's why I'm, where is this headed? I don't know. Hopefully they just go in there and they spar around and it's entertaining and it's fun. They make a ton of money and they give some away to someone. I don't know. I'm really curious to see who's going to be on undercard because that's going to be big for the undercard people because this is going to be this is, this is going to be a, a crazy major event. But uh, yeah, I, I really hope at this point that Jake Paul does get his matchup with Canelo because that I would really like to see at this point, and it would I think it would be good for the both of them. I don't really see what anyone has to gain from this on the boxing side, monetarily and, and fame wise. I get it. But on the boxing side of things, if Jake Paul goes in there and gets flattened, we don't really gain anything. It's Tyson. He's flattened people all his life. If Jake Paul goes in there and, and gets one on Tyson and, and does something and knocks him, you just put down a 58-year-old man. I, there's no win for me here. Like, there, there's no win. It, 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 it's just the spectacle. I don't know. That's how I personally feel. I like to look at fights and think that there's something there. We're going to see something. Uh, I, I don't I don't know how I feel about this way. And I'm usually very like, hey, competition, let's go. But I don't, I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't know. What do y'all think? Like, seriously, honest opinions. I could be swayed here because I'm I'm just a bit perplexed. I don't know. 
if y'all haven't checked out all the things going on on my post about uh, Haney and Garcia's press conference and their fathers going in on each other's hair, there's a lot of opinions and comments going there under the short. Uh, go check that out and check out the full video. I'll put the links down here in the description. Um, yeah, just keep rocking with me. It's a lot of boxing and sports news. It's just the way it is, but I'm going to be covering a little bit of everything in my weekly recap this weekend. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. And uh, let me know. Let me know what y'all really think about this Jake Paul and Tyson thing. Let me know where y'all think it's going. Let me know what y'all think is next, who y'all want to see on the undercard. Uh, if these type of events excite you, uh, Netflix getting in the game. I know Amazon is coming in the game with, with Tank. Their first fight is going to be with Tank coming up. So, uh, yeah, sports fans, boxing fans, and everyone else, stick with me. Let's see what happens. Jake Paul versus Tyson, Netflix, July 20th, live. Will I be watching? Maybe. I wonder if they're going to charge extra. I'm going to get the details. I'll add in the rest of the, the actual factual information on my recap this weekend of everything that's going on. Make sure y'all check that out. Comment, like, subscribe. Please tell me what's going on. And, um, yeah, thanks, guys. See you.